Hello, thank you, um, Chairman Mendelson, Council Members, Commissioner Salim Adolfo, and Spaces in Action for the opportunity to speak today. My name is Burlette McMillan. I'm here on behalf of Spaces in Action. I came to Washington, D.C. in 1990 to attend Howard University. As a single mom to a 19-year-old son who just finished his first year of college, I'm too familiar with the fear African Americans have when raising a child, especially a son, in a world that's told every generation of African Americans that we are unworthy of equity in education, healthcare, economic wealth, social, social and civil justice, just to name a few. I understand what the effect and the importance affirming my son's self-worth at a young age had on his mental and emotional health and how that was, has set in motion the tone for his future. Having a background in nonprofit, I'm familiar with the evidence-based importance of programs and funding for programs and what they can provide to those that are underserved, which is generally African-Americans and people of color. That is why I'm asking the council members to maintain the funding of Healthy Futures and Healthy Steps at fiscal year 2020 levels, as well as emergency funding of a 10 million excuse me, a $10 million grant for child, child care provider programs, es excuse me, especially since national data shows 30% of home and center-based care settings do not have resources to remain operational after two weeks of closure. I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> sorry. Well, you're doing fine, so don't be nervous. Okay, thank you. When parents don't have equitable resources available to reinforce positive values and opportunities, we will continue to see a repeat of the same cycles of our past. Thank you for your time.